Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will cover all the steps that every pilot goes through to prepare for a flight from the moment we receive a flight plan until we reach the aircraft and execute the flight plan. Now if you're a pilot, plan to become a pilot, or if you're just interested to know how pilots prepare for flight, then on this video we will cover all those steps. So what I usually do with each flight, especially if I'm not familiar with the route, is few days prior to the flight I will get the flight plan of that specific route. Now getting the flight plan of the specific route will help me have a better understanding of the flight I'm going to operate. I will build a picture about the flight itself, increase my situation awareness about departure, destination, on route airports, etc. You can use a lot of other tools such as the chart providers, Lido or Jeppesen to have more information about those airports, understand and get familiar with the general flight rules of the countries that you are going to overfly, know their procedures such as communication failure procedures, emergency procedures, etc. Like this, you will go prepared to the flight rather than learning while you are doing it. So on the day of the flight, we will do exactly the same thing. So moving on to the flight plan of the day, we will use a flight plan that I have generated for this video from the bot Brussels. We will use it for demonstration purposes. But this is flight plan number one. Flight plan number one is our flight plan today. And remember this number is really important and I will tell you why in a bit why it is important. Now this is our call sign, Aviation Wingman and it's four zeros. Generated on the 3rd of February, which is today's day when I shot this video. From the bot to Brussels, this is our aircraft's registration and the time it was released and the date. Moving on here, we have a lot of information, operation information, such as cost index, which is how fast or how slow we're flying. Basically, a compromise between time and fuel. It's decided by the company, not by the pilots. Below, we have the maximum and estimated takeoff weight, landing weight, and zero fuel weight. All of this information, we use them to have more understanding of how heavy and how light we are out on that day. And also, this zero fuel weight will help us understand how much we need to adapt our fuel if we're heavier then obviously we consume more fuel if you're lighter then it's the opposite so moving on here the plant fuel we will have the trip fuel the quantity and the equivalent in time the contingency strategy that's been used the alternate airports the final reserve the extra fuel if needed it's usually decided by the flight crew take of fuel and the taxi to decide how much is the total now all this information i will make a specific video to explain exactly how to read or decode a flight plan especially if you're not pilot this is just like normal codes for airports ico codes this is dubai and this is brussels and a lot of information that don't make sense I will make a specific video to decode a flight plan for you to understand exactly what everything means. So moving on, here we have more information about the dispatcher, the pilot in command, etc. We have information such as waypoints we are going to overfly. The estimated fuel on board over those waypoints will help us to compare when we reach those waypoints the actual fuel on board and we compare it to this one. You know, how much extra fuel or how much fuel we have less than the estimated. It will help us to determine if we have any fuel leak or not as well. Moving on to the next pages, we have wind at each waypoint. We have five levels provided here. Each level, we would have wind direction, the speed, temperature at that level. And moving on here, we find the ATC flight plan. You will find all the equipment that you are carrying on board the route again with the set altitudes that the LTC is expecting you to take how much time it's going to take you to reach specific countries or FIRs and here we have the weather forecast and the actual weather for example and our destination airport Brussels we will check the date and time and here we will have some quotes that we need to check to know this weather will be affecting our arrival we will decide on based on this if we need to carry extra fuel or not so to decode these quotes we will make a specific video about each one of these codes like the minus, delta zulu, etc. We will explain all this. Here we have the NOTAMs, the notice to airmen, all the information that is crucial for that airport. If there is any hazard or if there is any changes to the normal operation of that airport, you will find it in the NOTAMs. So for the pilots, it's really important to go through all the steps to make sure they are familiar with the changes, see on route fires or countries that we are going to overfly. And as you can see, there is a lot of information. Sometimes you cannot finish all of this before a flight. So as a rule of thumb, we'll check the departure, this nation 
destination. Destination alternate one hour or two hours into the flight. Then we will finish it once we are in the flight if we didn't have enough time to check everything. But make sure to check all the information or most of the information because there is a lot of information that are important. Sometimes also the dispatcher will highlight things to help you spot the information quickly. Here we have more information about the weather. So this article, the significant weather charts, they can be presented differently depending on the provider. You will find information such as jet streams. And for example, here you can see that there is no weather forecast on our roads to clear skies and check the validity of your chart. This one is valid at 6 UTC on the 3rd, 2024. And these are the levels that are covered. And it tells you if there is any light, moderate turbulence in which levels. Also, if you want to know more information about these or these, I will make a specific video about it. Now, after we have done all of this, once we reach the airport, there will be a normal briefing between the pilots. And now at this time, it's really important to specify which flight plan both of you have checked. And now it comes into play a flight plan number that I told you about, flight plan number one. Now you know that the flight plan that you have checked at home matches the one that you have printed at the airport. And now you can only talk about the things that you have seen but if there is any changes, you will have to go through all the changes. Usually dispatcher will be proactive and it will highlight what are the things that have changed so that you know only specific information changes, such as they changed route or they changed the altitudes, etc. Once we start the briefing, we'll discuss all the threats that could impact our flights. Also speak about the fuel if we need to adjust it for any reason. Once that's finished, then we'll go and have a briefing with the flight attendants, give them flight details such as flight time, altitudes, and a specific information that they need to know about that specific flight. Once the briefings are done, then all of us go to the aircraft. And once we reach the aircraft, we'll do a few steps to finalize our preparation. That will include finalizing the fuel and also preparing the performance for our aircraft, such as the speeds that we need for takeoff and the configuration that we need to use etc. One of us also we need to do the walk around. Both of us when we're done with these preparations then we'll come together and we do a briefing then get the flight going. On my next video I will make a video about how to prepare for a flight using a real life scenario using the Airbus A320. We will go through all the steps and I will talk you through it to show you exactly what we do to prepare for a flight. The things that you don't see when you're not in the flight deck if you're not a pilot. And that's it for today guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what are the things that you have been on this video. Until the next one, stay safe.